Venezuela told a campaign command highlight the importance of carrying out the electoral simulation in view of the consultative referendum in defense of the Esequibo. The national head of the Venezuela Toda campaign, Jorge Rodriguez, highlighted the commitment of the men and women of different organizations that join in the defense of the Esequibo territory. Rodriguez emphasized that the campaign resulted in national unity where all the sectors have put aside politics to fight and defend the attacks of the Guyana government. Jorge Rodriguez detailed that for this drill, at least 800 voting centers will operate at a national level so that the Venezuelan people start to familiarize themselves with the voting process. The simulation will also serve as an act of patriotism. We would like this Sunday's act to be a beautiful one, a civic act, an act of encounter with what will be the electoral meeting next Sunday, December the 3rd. That we all go with our families, our friends, with our loved ones, with our colleagues from our parties or social movements, religious movements. To get familiar with the voting system, to see how the voting process is, and also to prepare ourselves perfectly for what has to be the struggle of all of us, so that they do not steal a territory that belongs to us. The national head of the Venezuela Toda campaign, Jorge Rodriguez, pointed out that the government of Guyana recognized that the ExxonMobil company financed the lawyers who filed a complaint in the International Court of Justice to suspend the consultative referendum on the Esequibo. With the biggest insolence, with the greatest brazenness, Guyana admits that the $18 million that cost the fees of the lawyers who went to the International Court of Justice to introduce that aberration asking the International Court of Justice that Venezuela should suspend the consultative referendum, those $18 million that cost those lawyers who went to introduce that absolutely adventurous and offensive recourse with our sovereignty were paid by ExxonMobil. It was recognized yesterday by the officials of the government of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. And when a party confesses, when a criminal confesses, the burden of proof is not necessary. The head of the Venezuelan campaign, Jorge Rodriguez, expressed that Venezuela will not allow the interfering actions of Guyana and the International Court of Justice. ExxonMobil, government of Guyana, International Court of Justice, don't bite off more than you can chew. You don't have to get involved in Venezuela. Venezuela matters are solved by Venezuelan women and men. The rights of Venezuela are exercised in Venezuela and no legal or natural person, no entity, no government, no foreign institution can impose on us what we must do or not do. They are actions according to what the Constitutional Chamber says and they are null and void of all validity. The National Electoral Council of Venezuela informed that the Supreme Court of Justice declared competent the writ of protection in defense of the consultative referendum by unanimous decision. Furthermore, the document states that Venezuela will continue to exercise its sovereignty and territorial integrity as an independent nation. Likewise, the constitutional injunction orders to continue with the fulfillment of the schedule of the consultative referendum. The Electoral Council also indicated that 90% of the polling stations for the November 19th simulation are already installed. Among the bodies of public power, of course, is the National Electoral Council. The electoral power, which unanimously accepts this sovereign decision of the Constitutional Chamber of the Supreme Court of Justice.